What's up guys, Black Tom and Crypto, and today I'm going to show you three PvP teams that you can pick up for 0.3 Ethereum or less. This is three different teams. The first team I am very familiar with and I run personally myself, I'm currently 2,300 MMR and uh, climbing. Where we've been in the top 1,000 multiple times and this is similar team to what I personally run. You can also watch me live every day at 11.30 AM CST if you want to see this team played live. So to start off, we have Pumpkin, Cactus, Sirius, and Hotbutt. I like a pure tank. If I'm going to go for some type of tank setup like this, I want it to be as slow as possible and this way, and also high ID is better. You don't actually want it to be low ID because the lower your ID is, the chances are that you're not in the last position. You want to play in the last position so you guarantee yourself serious, and this will give you a higher chance of stealing your opponent's energy. So we're starting off with 0.1 for our tank. I brought up two choices of beasts that we can go through. I think both of them are very good. Right now, the dual blades one is actually surprisingly cheaper, uh, but this is a 41 speed dual blades beast with risky beast, dual blades, nutcracker and nutcracker. It's full on damage. You can go for alternatives with maybe rice or something else. But personally, I think if you just want some high damage beast, this is the setup you're going to want to go with. And you, as you can see, it's 0 0.083 on the marketplace at the moment. Next, instead of that, let's say you want to go with a rimp setup. Here's a 43 speed rimp. It's a little bit more expensive, and this is because it's 43 speed. But it has Ronin, Imp, and Double Nutcracker. Whenever you, The reason why I don't like this setup as much is first, you're lacking the damage or the extra shield and the damage from these cards here. But Ronin needs to be comboed with two other cards for it to actually do its full damage. Where if you are running dual blades or risky beasts, you only need one card and it does higher damage. So that's why personally, I don't like running Rimp. But if you like Rimp, then this is a perfect setup for you. Next, we're gonna cover the two birds. So first off, this bird was 0 0.088. It just sold while I was setting up to make this video, but this is just showing you that you can pick up some really cheap birds at the moment as well. So it's 61 speed and it has little owl pigeon post eggshell and post fight pigeon post lets you transfer all debuffs that are on yourself to your opponent eggshell is a way for you to become a taunt you have a taunt ability and you can also pass it on to your opponent so you could go for some type of pigeon post eggshell little owl play to drop debuffs on your opponent and make all your other axes attack your your um attack the axe that you debuffed and then you have post shot i love post shot it's such a good card because it's a zero cost card that does 120 damage. So you can also combo this zero cost card on turn one with something from your beast to kill your opponent's your opponent's plan. It can be really strong opening play and your opponent won't be expecting it. Then you have this setup here. This is a setup I personally like and this is the setup I run and I'm 2.3k MMR. You have Pigeon Post, Peacemaker, Eggshell, and Post Fight. The only thing that's different in this setup is you have the Peacemaker here. Peacemaker applies attack down on your target. So this is a, a attack down debuff. It does higher damage, gives you a little bit more shield, and it's just kind of nice to have some type of attack down debuff. And I personally don't think you need the back door. Some people really like back door. So if you like the back door, go with Little Owl. If not, go with the Peacemaker version. And then also double talk just becomes way more expensive. So next I'm going to be covering a plant double aqua setup i'm not really going to be covering the plant munch because we've already covered this plant it's the exact same one that i showed off in the beginning of the video so if you want to see that one just go back to the beginning and you'll see the see the cards for it but i'm going to show off the midline aqua so you can pick this up for 0.116 and it has sponge which gives you 60 damage plus 90 shield. So it's nice to have some type of shield and defensive play for your midline aqua, especially for when your opponent's attacking into you. Then you have Risky Fish here, which does 110 damage for 30 shield. And then you have Shoal Star, which is 115 damage for 10 shield. And it ends your opponent's last stand. It also comes with the card Nemo. This way you have an energy gain. This will be your midliner. So you want an energy gain, you want a Risky Fish to boost your attack, and then Shoal Star to finish off your opponent. Then we go into our backliner one. Our backliner one has more damage and is running Koi. You could run Goldfish instead and Goldfish is probably cheaper, but I think this be this setup is actually better and it's also not expensive right now at 0 0.086. This is such a good pickup and I'm surprised it's so cheap at the moment. But Blue Moon, 
is a range card, deals 120 damage, gives you 30 shield, shoal star, risky fish, and koi. What it does is when you apply it with another aqua class card, you get a speed up. So this way you can outspeed your opponent's birds and other things. And also another reason you don't really need goldfish is if you're usually aqua versus aqua and you have four energy, goldfish, having goldfish is just less damage and less effective, less shield as well. Last, I'm going to cover a more expensive team. This was going to probably run you around 0.35. So a little bit more expensive than the, than the original two teams, but also one team I think is pretty good. So we're starting off with our pumpkin, serious, leaf bug, yam setup. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have a little less health with the, these cards here, but this is a pretty good pickup for 0.135. And this way you have poison. You're, you're going to need poison in this setup because we're running a Terminator and a Tri Spikes mid laner. Uh, you can go with this alternate version that's a little bit cheaper for 0.113. The only thing it has different is it has Yam and Beach here. So I guess I should uh, cover this this plant first. It has Sirius, Pumpkin, Leafbug. The only card, the only two cards that are different are Leafbug and Yam. Leafbug gain one energy when comboed with a plant card. So you have a zero cost card that you can combo with Sirius to steal your opponent's energy on your first turn, or maybe you can play a Yam Sirius and steal opponent's energy while at the same time applying poison to your opponent. Do so you want to make sure you use Yam in proper situations when you feel like you're going to get attacked into? Same thing here, except you just have higher higher shield, and if you get attacked into you have 40 extra shield and you do 120% damage if this actually shield breaks. Then next we have our midliner. We have the tri spike set up. So we have tri spikes, tiny turtle, and scissor and thorny caterpillar. This will cost you 0.139 at the moment. So that's why I said this team is a little bit more expensive, but tri spikes, what it does is when combo with two cards, you attack the Axie with the least shield. So if they don't defend their frontliner, you're you're automatically going to attack their plant but let's say they put up shield on their plant and you will talk attack their backliner and can get it get yourself some kills so it's very nice it's your back door for the setup you also have tiny turtle when comboed with two cards you stun your opponent's axi then you have incisor which applies an attack down for two rounds this is very nice and then you have thorny caterpillar that deals 130 percent damage to a debuff target then backliner like i said we are going with our standard terminator for 0 0.08 i per i picked up this one instead of the other one that was a little bit cheaper because it has 40 speed uh personally i would want the 42 speed if i can get it but 40 speed is a good starting base try and not get the ones that are 37 if you can and try and find one for a good deal for 40 speed or higher so we have snail shell tiny turtle lagging and thorny caterpillar snail shell whenever your shield breaks it applies a stun to your opponent so you want to combo snail shell and like thorny caterpillar and lagging together as much as you can also you can go for some really insane kill plays with tiny turtle and thorny caterpillar where you stun them with tiny turtle and then you attack them with thorny caterpillar and it skips their shield so lagging is a zero cost card and this is the reason why it's called a terminator is because it's this zero cost card here it's uh set up to stun your opponent constantly and have them not really do much damage to you this is a perfect setup for a cheap budget build and all these builds can take you to 2k mmr maybe even higher depending on your skill level if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i'll put up more content like this in the future